uh, as it turned out, what I was writing about and where he was were very close, not to compare myself to the genius of Warhol, but he got it right off. You know, we, we were his only, his one and only band, the factory band. No one knew who we were or cared. They thought, they thought Warhol was the guitar player. <laughs> and the only jobs we had were at museums where he was doing a, a museum installation yeah. and we were part of the installation. Ah. And we were wearing sunglasses because he would shoot lights and movies on us. And then he would also do cutouts of his films, like uh, um, nothing in circles, always angular, and project that out. It was, you know, he was the first. I mean, first multimedia, I mean, yeah. I mean, the other guy, you know, out in California, they were doing oil with a boot. Yeah, up. melting light. It was yeah. like, what? Yeah. You know, yeah. So we uh, thought, thought they were pretty lame. In a sense, both you and he and his work were well before their time. Now, people look back. I don't back. know about before their time, they were on time. For you? Yeah. But, but the, was the audience And for there? him, you know, it's, well, they never see anything like it. Anymore. No. But, you know, it was... We rented out the Polish national home called the Dom. Yeah. And that's what... It was a national home, and Andy put in projectors, and it had a balcony, and it had an actual stage. We didn't have amplification, really, for vocal. So it's whoever played loudest got heard. And who did? The, I tried. <laughs> yeah. But um, our, our volume then is nothing compared to where things ended up. But Andy would stop some kid and say, you want to work the lights, the camera. Just anyone that happened to be there. Who, yeah. <laughs> he said, here, press this. He was an astonishing person in every way. I can't even begin. I'd never, I mean, I didn't really know who he was. You know, and then I saw stuff he was doing and he would give me his disaster photos. Yeah. The AP would send him earthquakes, car crashes. That's where some of the cell screens came from. Yes. And he gave them to me when he was done. Really? Yeah. Why did he think you'd like them? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, no maybe, way. maybe because I was standing there. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Lou's not doing anything. Have one of these. Here, here's a beheading. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't really talk much, but he would... He would work 24 hours a day. I've never seen someone do that. 